Hey guys, this is the deal of the week that made me decide to do this series about sales at my local Big Y. So we have a, um, you know, app for the Big Y store and I don't know if they're personalized offers or not, but on your app, in addition to digital coupons, there's a section where you have offers that you can load up. So I came across this one where the chunky soups with this offer are just three for three dollars. So look, they're on sale three for five. But then if you have the offer loaded, you can get them three for three. And look at this. It's a limit of three deals. That means that if I wanted to, I could get nine cans of soup because I can do the three for three three different times. And I have a nine and a half year old grandson who just loves himself some chunky soup. And looking at the app, it's not just the chunky soup. You can also get some of the Craven saltine crackers. And it shows you the varieties that you can get, which are also on sale three for five or three for three with this My Big Y offer. Now look at that. They're regular $2.50. And these chunky soups are regular $3.49. So this is a truly phenomenal deal in my book, right? Because 349 would be 369 and then another dollar 20 would be 1020 plus another 27 cents. So $10 and 47 cents worth of products for just $3 and you can do that three times. So I'm thinking that I'm going to get six cans of soup and if they have the crackers in stock, I'm going to get three boxes of the crackers to go with it because this is just too much of a great deal. And one thing I don't know yet, so I will be learning with this transaction, is if you have to do all three of them at the same time or if you can split it up. But I think today I'm just going to go ahead and do all three at the same time because of the way that the, um, the stock is emptying out. So let me grab some of these flavors and I'll be right back. All right, here we are at the crackers. I know I was just going to share the deal with you, but I've brought you along. So I'm definitely going to get one of the unsalted. And then... Um, hmm. Well, it looks like they only have the unsalted so what will i do i think i'll just get them anyway my grandson doesn't need to be loaded up with salt let me check these expiration dates april 2025 oh i should have just grabbed that all right so this is what i'm looking at on this deal with the soup and the crackers. So what I realized was the two for five is really a sale price. These crackers are actually $3.19. So we're getting three boxes of crackers, six cans of soup. That came out to a total of $30.51. By the time I pay for these items, and I'll pay for them separate to make sure that it worked the right way, I should just be paying $9. And because it's food, there would be no tax on them. So hopefully I will get these $30 worth of products for just $9, which is going to be a savings of $21 and a completely awesome way to stock up. Now we have that scare with the ports closing and we know that even without that prices have been going up like crazy it's just where we're at right now but our paychecks are not going up in alignment with the food prices and the prices of everything else that is increasing so this is a wonderful way even i probably should have just taken like nine cans of soup but we didn't have any crackers in the house and this way i can send some you know to my sons as well and um we like to have you know crackers and cheese crackers with chill, whatever it might be so i am gonna do it um this way because i also caught some chunky for 99 cents at stop and shop the other day so i'm gonna go to the register and i will share the receipt with you all right guys we're in the car and here is the receipt for the chunky soup so there we have it 
six cans at $3.49, but they rang up a dollar once everything was scanned. Well, once every three was scanned. And then the saltines, rather unsalted, crackers, $3.19 for $1. So that was nine products for just $9. And look at that. See, $30.51, $21.51 in savings for a subtotal of $9. That is so exciting. And I was actually talking to the um, customer service lead, the cashier service manager, and she said there are some stores in Connecticut. So hopefully they'll continue to branch out. But um, guys, I really hope you can score. Have a good night.